Okay, folks, it's that time once again to do an unboxing of comics for the shop this week. Um, we'll start with Lunar. This one's not very heavy, normal size box, perfectly packaged. And box inside a box, bubble wrap. Here's the box we will be unboxing. Wow, lots of bubble wrap this time. I may need that. And here we go. We got an invoice thing, pack and slip thing, poster. Or some top cow image thing. Piece of floppy cardboard. And off we go. You get out. Working on it, working on it. Here we go. Yeah, close enough. All right. Oops. Hold on. They fell over. All right, Batman Dylan Dog, number three. That seems really thick. Anyways, it's very thick. Blue Beetle, number nine. Batman and Robin, Ooh, number nine. Three of those. Action Comics, number 1055. Green Lantern, number 11. What do we got? Let's get these flipped over. They're moving slow today. Monolith. Monolith number one of three. Todd McFarlane, new you. Three ninety nine cover price. I'm sorry, two ninety nine cover price. Card stock. Happy tappy. That's your art for Monolith number one. Did I only get one copy? Is this the regular cover? It is not the regular cover. Could be a variant. Could be a thank you. Who knows? Well, he's definitely a variant. Uh, Sinister Sons, number four. I didn't get enough of it to get an incentive. Uh, Red Hood, The Hill, number four. This is actually selling pretty well here. I got four copies. I will sell them all. Should get more. Outsiders, number seven. Ice Cream Man, number 39. G.I. Joe, number 306. I guess variant. I mean, obviously variant, sketch variant. I guess it's first printing. We'll find out. Yep, there's more of them in there. One second. One second. Working on it. Gosh, sorry about the dead time here. Won't happen again because I got them all. All right, here's G.I. Joe number 306, regular cover. Here is Cobra Commander number two, second printing. Suicide Squad, Dream Team number three of four. That one's not bagged. Is that the one that's usually bagged? One of those Suicide Squad books is bagged all the time. Another copy, Dylan Dog, Batman. Here's this. Batman and Robin and Howard. Number three of four. Napalm Lullaby, number three. No one's buying this, by the way, from us. Someone's buying it somewhere. 
Red coat number two for a subscriber. And spawn number 353. Again, I'm going to keep pointing this out because it's awesome. $2.99 cover price, cardstock cover. Tabby tabby. Okay, here's some more copies of Monolith. This would be the regular cover, Monolith, number one of three. Let's take a look inside. There he is. There's the monolith. I guess that's his name. So that's your art. Looks really good. Let's see. So moving on. Rat City. Number two. Again, McFarland. $2.99 cover price. Cardstock. Hot happy happy. That's a spawn tie-in, by the way. I didn't know that. I didn't order number one. I got second printing. Uh, Transformers number six. Second printing. Geiger. Number one. Second printing. Which is $3.99, but also cardstock. Hot happy tabby. And Geiger number two. Uh, this should be a later printing. No, no, just a reorder, I guess. And here's Transformers number six, second printing. Transformers number five, second printing. And Transformers number five, variant cover for second printing. This one's got a little bit of damage from God knows what. And. Let's see, 522512. Two. So this is the, that's the regular second printing cover. This is the variant second printing cover. So let's move on to Penguin Random House shipping. We got several mailers. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five mailers in a box. So this is a reorder. Glad these came because. They were hotter than I was expecting, which is Darth Maul, black, white, and red. Number one, first print regular cover, Darth Maul, black, white, and red. I just got two more copies. That should that should do it. Um, and next mailer. Here, this one is daintily packaged. It is Last Ronin 2 Revolution number 1. I, I Is that a first printing? No. I think this is second printing. Last Ronin 2 number 1, I believe second printing. Next, next mailer. But whatever it is, is quite shiny. There's something shiny here. Invoice pack and slip. What do we got that's so shiny? It is, wow. Venom separation anxiety. Blah, blah, blah. Number one. Gosh, let's look at this sucker. That sure is foolish. And here's the regular cover. Looks to be a homage to the uh, old web of Spider-Man number one. Let's take a look inside. Did Charles Vest do this? I doubt it. Art looks good. Yeah, so Venom, Separation of Anxiety number one. Maybe should have got more of those. More than three. 
I don't know. Like I said last time, we're we're in a college town, uh, Blacksburg, near Virginia Tech, and it gets really slow here when uh, students are gone. So I don't want to. They just left last week or this couple days ago, and uh, we're gonna be slow. So I can't be over ordering stuff, but three copies of that Venom may not be enough. So here's another stack of what looks to be the IDW shipment to My Little Pony. Number four, uh, it's My Little Pony Kentucky Roller Derby. Cover B, number four. And cover A, number four. And there's another one of those. And in here's Star Trek, number 20. Got two of those, both for subscribers. What's this? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan, number three. Just got one of those. They're not selling that great. Masters of the Universe. Revolution. Number one. It is a regular cover. Let's take a look at this. It's by Dark Horse. Wow, it's colorful. Well, that page was. Anyway, there's your art in Masters of the Universe Revolution number one. I got only got two of those. Godzilla versus Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number two. It's Godzilla versus Mighty Morphin Power Rangers two. <laughs> number two, excuse me. I got five of those. That's probably too many. And it's a very light mailer, probably a poster or a, God knows what it is. Oh, yep, it's a, a doodad here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Marvel.com. That will not see the light of day in my shop. Go into a box of free promo stuff that was given me for all of eternity, never to be seen again. Oh. Package slip your invoice, we're in the box now. Small box, it was packaged all the way around. Seems they have learned their lesson. And we are back to getting well packaged comics from the Penguin. Oh, right on top, right on top, there it is. Oh. Doctor Doom number one comes out this week. If you know me, you know I'm a little excited about that. So here's Doctor Doom number one. This is the Marvel Masterworks Greg and Tim Hildebrandt variant. Doctor Doom's kind of the unofficial store mascot for Arch Villain Comics. So my friend just texted me today and said, how many of these did you order? And uh, I didn't remember. So I went back and looked and I didn't order enough. So I uh, ordered more. Um, Ultimate X-Men number three. This is a second printing, I believe. Although it should say. It doesn't. The barcode. I can never remember. I think that's the printing and that's the variant. But it could be the other way around. Let's see. We can tell by this one. Yeah, yeah, it is the other way around. Deadpool number one, second printing. You see one one, which means number one regular cover, second printing. That's how the barcodes work. I forget sometimes though which one's which. It apparently is the second number, or the last number is the printing. Oh, look at this. Behold, in all its glory, Doom number one variant cover. I only ordered one of these, and uh, it's uh, kind of damaged. It's definitely not a good enough one for my collection for this book. Sometimes I wouldn't care about that for my collection, but that one would have been for me. No, it's not. Uh, Ultimate X-Men number three. This is, uh, I guess, a Peach Momoko variant. So I guess Ultimate X Men number three comes out this week, and I just thought it, I already thought we already gotten it. So those are first printings. Miss um, Marvel Mutant Menace, 
Number three, Aliens, Black, White, and Blood. Number four, or Alien, Black, White, and Blood. And again, Alien Blood is green. And I just think that's the coolest thing. Not that their blood is green, but the coolest that it's black, white, and blood, and it's green. But, you know, I'm kind of trivial-minded, so maybe ignore me. What if Aliens number three? Mace Windu number four. Here's a good cover. Gosh, that's harsh. Carnage number seven. Wolverine. Matapore Knights number four. Weapon X Men number four. What if Venom number four? X-Men Forever, number four. A lot of number fours this week. If, you wanna, if you're want, if you missing some number fours in your collection, now is your time. Miles Morales, number 20. Amazing Spider-Man, Blood Hunt, number one of three. Let's take a look inside this sucker. Let's see. $4.99 cover price. Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt. There's your creative team. Art right, looks pretty good. There it is. Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt, number one of three. Here's this variant, I believe, is a George. Or that's the regular cover. There's also another variant, and I'm I just now ordering it. Um, this is a giant size one shot, by the way. I did get multiple copies of it, even though the price is a whopping $6.99. We'll take a look inside of what will surely be an awesome comic. Gosh, a lot going on here. Here's Galactus, Molecule Man. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. And last... And probably not least, Ultimate X-Men number three, regular cover. So there's that. And that one's not selling as well as I expected, but, you know, it's moving, but not as well as I thought. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.